I know it's not Halloween yet, but this theory is so intriguing that it adds a major plot twist to The Cabin in the Woods. So, spoilers if you haven't seen it. I mean, the movie came out in 2012. You should go check it out. If you're new to my channel, my previous videos are up in the top right corner in the card section. Might want to go check them out too later on after this video. And maybe hit that subscribe button. But let's jump right into the theory. My main question is, how did these five college students end up at this precise cabin? Well, you could say it's Kurt's cousin. I mean, that's what Kurt says the whole movie. Well, Mordecai dropped some hints saying that Buckner's cabin has a lot of previous owners. And that's understandable coming from a cabin that's all run down. But in the movie, Kurt is asked a question about where his cousin got this cabin from. And Kurt just ignores the question like it never even happened. Where did your cousin buy this place from? We should check the rest of the rooms, make sure this is the only one. So you know Marty wants to watch his pound it away. I don't think Kurt had a cousin. I think Kurt lied and sold out his friends for fame and heroism. That's even a word. I mean, how did the rooftop spy know exactly where they're going to be at and these exact kids were going to the cabin? When the basement door flies open, Kurt doesn't really react to that situation. He reacts more to when Jules stands up, scared. The wind must have blown open. Uh, that makes what kind of sense? What do you think's down there? When the college students go down into the creepy basement and Dana starts reading from that creepy diary Cross with me and said I lacked the true faith. Marty, the smart stoner, insists they stop, especially when they get to the Latin. Okay, I'm drawing a line in the fucking sand here. Do not read the Latin. Never read the Latin. Look what happened in Goosebumps. Latin is bad mojo. But what does Kurt do? He insists and is very persistent that she finishes the words. I'm going go on. Why? I want to know. Let's fast forward a few minutes in the movie and get to the part where they try to escape in the RV. And they go down the cave and it starts to blow up. Kurt comes up with a motivational heroism speech to jump the gorge. I've done bigger jumps than this. You got a smooth run and maybe a five foot differential on the other side. You gotta give it everything. And bring back help and helicopters. If I wipe out, I'll fucking limp for help. I'm coming back with cops and choppers and large fucking guns, and those things are gonna pay. But what happens? He makes a jump and is double crossed and dies. What a tragic ending. I guess as it happens when you sell your friends. This is kind of far fetched, right? I don't think so. Every one of those kids represents one of the sacrifices the athlete, the scholar, the whore, the fool, and the virgin. The puppet masters work what they get. And so they worked with these kids. I don't think this is just a coincidence. At the end of the movie, Dana even says, I don't think Kurt has a cousin. I don't think Kurt even has a cousin. But hey, this is a great plot twist right. of the movie. Let me know down in the comments what you think. See you in the next video. Until then, peace guys.